Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Friday, I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. So today we are building in Brindleton Bay on probably one of my favourite lots to build in, in this world. This is originally where the, I think it's called the Paw Print Hospital or something like that. That's normally where this lot is and I've built here... A couple of months ago I will link in the top right hand corner for you now that speed build but we built a rustic family home and today we are building more of a traditional family home with four bedrooms and three bathrooms so what I wanted to get from from this house was like this really warm cozy family friendly vibe and I feel like it's been a little while since I've done like a proper like suburban family house in reality it's only actually been 12 days or so <laughs> since I last did like a suburban house. I will also link uh, my last suburban house up in the right hand corner for you as well if you want to go and check that one out too. But yes with this one I really wanted it to just be really warm, almost autumnal but not aut autumnal. <laughs> Seeing as how we're in spring at the moment, just heading into summer I didn't necessarily want to create like an autumn themed house I just knew that I wanted it to be really warm and just cozy I guess is what I'm looking at is I guess is what I'm trying to say here <laughs> so I did use a reference image that I found on Pinterest for this one I will remember to put that up on the screen for you this time around when I did my Bridgerton inspired estate I did I've just completely forgot I said I was going to put the reference image on the screen and then I completely forgot so I will make sure that I do that in this speed build because I always like to show you guys the reference image that I'm working from where possible now the only thing that I did change was the color scheme from the the original picture what I did keep the same was the sort of general structure I just need a little bit of help more often than not with like the exterior structure I usually sort of go off on my, and do my own thing in terms of the color scheme but if I'm struggling with that in particular I will also include the color scheme from the reference image but with this one I decided I, I already had in my head the sort of color scheme that I wanted to go for so that's why I ended up going for like this really warm orangey red brick with the sort of cream panels I think it looks really really nice this is the kind of house if I were to ever I mean we don't have houses like this in the UK I might be speaking out of turn there but definitely not where I live <laughs> if I were to move to America this is like the kind of house um, externally internally slightly different that I would want to live in I, it's just just something about it that I'm really really drawn to so I really hope you all, if you do decide to download it, which I hope you do, <laughs> I really hope you enjoy uh, playing in this house. I tried to make it as family friendly as possible. As I said, it has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. There's a downstairs study. There's a big back garden with a pool. There's a separate dining room, a big living room. There's a kit. Honestly, there's a kitchen. There's a there's everything that you could possibly need and want from a house. Uh, this this sort of has it. I did start building this yesterday afternoon, straight after I'd done my container cafe collaboration with Miss Simrina which I will also link in the top right hand corner for you I feel like I'm going to be adding a lot of cards to this video <laughs> but it's fine um, and immediately after I'd finished that I decided to jump back in game and give you guys another video for this week as I'd explained before I, I did have nine days off work this is um, the so I've got today Saturday and Sunday left and then I'm back to work on Monday so I wanted to get as many videos as I could possibly get out this week because as you may know I, I of course I love building and uh, getting the videos out for you all so when I'm off I tend to do like four or five videos <laughs> I am planning on releasing another video it's probably going to be like an apartment speed build or something like that uh, possibly tomorrow or Sunday but we'll see how that goes um, I, d I do have sort of an idea in mind as to what I would like to do so it would be really nice to try and get four videos out for this week and then I can go into next week when I'm back at work and just decide sort of want, what I want to get out for probably next weekend but again we shall see <laughs> I've talked before about I want to record a video of like my desk setup I do get a lot of questions about it um, not necessarily on YouTube but on my other social media so I want to record a desk setup and like um, a PC spec overview I guess because 
I think people are kind of intrigued um, what my new PC spec is and how everything's set up and this and the other. So I am planning on recording that next week as well. But yes, as I've been rambling on, the exterior structure has come together very quickly. Uh, the color scheme and everything is is just, I love it. I love it so much. This is just so my style of house. I can't even tell you. <laughs> so now we're working on the landscaping. I do pull some debug items out of the cottage living pack. In particular these red flowers I love these flowers so much I believe they also come in like um, a lilac swatch and then like a soft peach swatch as well I love these so much I love adding them to builds I think they just add pops of color here and there I, I would have been silly not to include red on this house I think because I just think it complements the warm brick so well and I think it looks really really nice but you'll have to let me know what you think I don't think I went too heavy on the landscaping although I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking some people may argue that that isn't the case <laughs> some people may be sitting there thinking uh that looks kind of heavy on the landscaping Rich. <laughs> for me it's pretty tame I would say especially in the back garden as well I try to keep the landscaping as close to the house as possible and then leave some sort of free space out at the front just for a little bit more realism I guess but instead of carrying the fence all the way through to the front I do add these debug hedges from the get together pack I believe they're from with sort of like the white flower details I love this hedge so very much I use it a lot in a lot of my builds I just I love the way it looks I think it looks really really nice and um, so now we are adding some windows to the side and the back of the house and in my previous speed build I don't believe I included this because it was such a long process this one was slightly different it didn't take me as long as my Bridgerton inspired um, house or estate just because of the size of the lot like my suburban houses can take anywhere from like uh, like two or three hours to like five or six hours. I would say this one took me all in, I would say five hours. I, I think that's pretty fair to say from start to finish. The, the exterior came together really, really quickly. And something you may notice about this feed build, there's two things. I, I actually ended up uh, sorting out the back garden at the start of the video normally I do that at the end of the video but I, I, I tend to find that I'll run out of steam after I've decorated the inside of a house and then I won't feel very inspired to try and sort out the back garden and then I get very lazy and complacent with how I place objects and just the general sort of feel of the garden <laughs> so with this one I decided to include it at the start of the build and I also recorded me furnishing every single bathroom in this house which is something that I don't normally do but with this one for some reason I think it's because of the way that I'd sort of furnished it just felt very natural for me to include the footage and it really wouldn't have made too much of a difference for me to cut it out because the bathrooms didn't take me that long I think we're probably looking at like a couple of minutes if that uh, so I just figured I would just keep it in um, but currently we are trying to pull some trees from the debug menu from the cottage living pack just to see if I can get the trees that I sort of wanted in the back garden we do end up changing them out slightly but nothing too dramatic changes but you will see that in a couple of minutes when we get onto the proper part of the back garden um, I decided to try and add the pool at this point although I'm now I'm looking at I'm thinking we do end up keeping this pool I was thinking of like another clip that I'd shortened because I did try to put the pool in before this point but this is this is the pool that we keep um, so we just have some floaties here so your sims can enjoy the sun in the summer months and I would love to have a house in real life with a pool I think it would be so amazing it's very uncommon in the UK to have a house with a pool just because when you buy a house in the UK it's very unusual that you get any sort of land with it um, again I might be speaking from like my experience rather than the experience of the general British public <laughs> but in general when we buy a house we don't we don't tend to get land with it unless you're buying like an old farmhouse or you're spending like a million pounds plus on a on a house and then you get some land with it um, but yes I would love to have a pool uh, eventually but again it's probably not gonna happen <laughs> so I love living vicariously through my sims houses and if I have the space then I will always add a pool 
especially in family houses because if you've if your sims have got like kids and teenagers and they want to have like a family barbecue and stuff and have some friends over i think a pool is just the perfect addition to a garden to allow your sims just to have a little bit of fun uh, so i do also add some lounge chairs and then just finish off some of the landscaping around the trees but the, the back garden itself there's not too much going on to be completely honest um as there is with a lot of my back gardens i'm gonna be i'm just being honest here my back gardens are very uninspiring i think is probably the word that i would use um functional but uninspiring <laughs> so we've now moved on to the interior of this house as you can see it's actually quite large <laughs> i don't know how i managed to do this every single time i build a suburban house but i i more often than not find myself i'll like get into the house and i'll think why do i do this every single time i end up building these for me like these big family houses especially on the ground floor and i'm like well what am i supposed to fill this space with because it's very uncommon in especially i'm going to talk about like british houses because i am from the uk but it's very uncommon in a british house to have a bedroom on the ground floor now my house in real life has a bedroom on the ground floor but it's not the master suite it's just like a a spare bedroom um that my husband's kids stay in when they come over but it's it's very unusual for that to happen and the only reason that we have one is because we live in like a three-story like townhouse so our kitchen and living room are like on the first floor rather than on the ground floor so it's all a little bit topsy-turvy <laughs> but I, I do love my house very much but anyway i digress um so i do end up putting a master bedroom with an ensuite on this sort of floor along with a study uh, there's a downstairs bathroom there's like um, a little laundry room that also works as a hallway there's a separate dining room living room and then also a kitchen as well so i i tried to sort of space out what i could and use the space in the best way <laughs> if you are new to the channel i'm gonna hold my hands up right now and say that i am not the best at sorting out floor plans if you return if you are sorry excuse me returning to the channel then you know that that is the case with me it's just one of those things <laughs> i'm getting better as i think i am with my builds in general when i look back on builds that i did like even a year ago or even six months ago and i'm thinking i've come such a long way because <laughs> i'm always trying to improve i'm always trying to improve my content and my builds for you all because that is the most the most important thing to me um while i'm on this sort of youtube journey i guess is just trying to create the best content possible for you guys as I've been rambling on, we have already started the living room. So this is the living room of the house. It's really long and slimmer than it is long. So I found it a little bit challenging at the start to try and work out where the furniture was gonna go. But I think we pretty much came up with like a really good sort of compromise with the two sofas. And these sofas are actually from the tiny living pack. They're sofas that I don't tend to gravitate towards but in the right setting, I think they look really, really nice. The, the armchairs are from Cottage Living, and then you'll just see me trying a few things because this is my second attempt at this living room. When I did the exterior for this build, I had a certain like visualization in mind as to how I wanted the interior of this house to look. And on my first attempt, it did not come together and I hated it, so I had to step away for like half an hour. And then I came back and I was like, right, just think think long and think hard <laughs> what do you want this living room to look like so that's why you saw me just at the start trying to work out which swatches on the wall i wanted to use i knew that i wanted to use these wooden floors from the jungle adventure is it jungle adventure i want to say it's jungle adventure i might be talking like i might i might be wrong there i have no idea <laughs> but those uh, that's where the um flooring is from and I knew that I wanted it to just be like really warm with like really sort of dark warm wood tones as well to match the exterior of the build and so my first attempt it just was not looking the way that I wanted it to so this is my second attempt which I think looks a lot better <laughs> through the archway there it was it was initially going to I don't know why I said there like that through the archway there <laughs> that was going to be the kitchen and that was my intention when I did the floor plan but as I started putting the cabinets down, I was like, that's not working either. So this ends up being the dining room, which I think works a lot better because initially there was going to be the living room and the kitchen on the left hand side of the house. And then your Sims were going to have to navigate through two or three rooms to get to the dining room, which didn't make sense. 
Although now that I'm saying it out loud, when your sims have cooked, they are now gonna have to walk through the same amount of doors to get to the dining room. But it just made more sense for the dining room to be off from the living room. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> As I said, floor plans, not my strong suit, but you'll just have to bear with me. Um, so the, the dining room came together really, really quickly. There's not too much going on here um, in terms of like the decor and things like that. It's ever, I think it's one tile slimmer than the living room, but because the dining room table and then the chairs take up the majority of the room, it's, it was a little bit easier to navigate. Initially, I wanted to include a uh, fireplace then I decided against it and I was like, no, it's fine. Uh, we don't need a fireplace in both of the rooms when there's an archway. I feel like that probably wouldn't have been a thing in real life, so I decided to just step away from that. <laughs> I also don't tend to include hallways in my speed build footage, but we have included them in this particular video, so I hope you guys don't mind. But this is the, the hallway for the house. It's the main entrance, so there's not much going on here. I just wanted to make sure that when you walked in it was warm it was cozy and you just got this like real family friendly sort of vibe from the house so hopefully we achieve that with this you'll have to let me know down in the comments below what you think this is the secondary hallway which i also doubled as more of a utility room uh because there is a stacked washer and dryer here which i think is really really useful i believe every single bedroom has a laundry basket I, now that i'm saying it out loud i think i forgot to put one in the master bedroom i know all the kids rooms have a laundry basket because i made sure of that when i was on the top floor <laughs> i don't think i mentioned that all the kids rooms are on the top floor of the house so we do have three bedrooms and then like a main bathroom on the top floor that the kids can share the kids rooms are so much fun i cannot wait to show you them some people may think I went a little bit overboard, but we'll talk about that when we get onto the top floor. <laughs> but we will see. Anyway, this is the kitchen. Uh, I think this works better as a kitchen than it would have done a dining room just because of the shape of it. I feel like the dining room, dining rooms work a lot better when they're either squares or rectangles. You'll have to let me know if you agree or disagree. But for me, a dining room is so much simpler if it's just a simple shape. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. We do the jungle adventure. I'm saying jungle adventure and it doesn't sound right. Anyway, the counters and then these base game cabinets, they're not supposed to match, but I, in my head they matched quite well. Does that make sense? I tend to team up like cabinets with counters and I tend to mismatch them just so that it doesn't look too samey and too repetitive. So um, that's what we did in this house as well. This was no exception. <laughs> so the kitchen was, is probably my least favorite room of, of the house. It was, I found it really, really awkward because of the wall behind where the island is, where the bar stools are. I just found it really awkward to try and sort of like fill. Um, but we'll talk about that more when we get onto it and I'll, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. But this is probably my least favorite room of the house. And, and usually my kitchens are my favorite room. <laughs> In truth, my favorite room of this house is probably the teenage son's bedroom. And I can't wait to show you it because it's so lively and full of character. And it's been a while since I've done a, a teenager's room that looks like this one. So I'm really excited to be able to show you that in just a few minutes when we do end up going upstairs. But yes, the kitchen, I do pull out some of these debug sort of like coffee beans and put them near the... I don't even think that's a coffee machine. I think it brews tea, but I might be wrong. It probably is a coffee machine. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> All I know is that it's fully functional and your sims can use every single appliance and item in this room. I'm pretty sure it's a coffee machine. I'm pretty sure it's a coffee machine. I'll stop talking about it. Um, and then just behind the island, I do include this uh, surface from the Cats and Dogs pack, which if you are returning to the channel, you will know is one of my absolute favorites. I use it in so many rooms in this house in the exact same swatch, and I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. The house was calling for it. What more can I say? <laughs> <laughs> so here you'll see me trying to add a cabinet initially and now that I'm looking back that that does look really nice but I was also thinking it looks slightly awkward too so I ended up scrapping it entirely um, and then adding a clock and then just a couple of pieces of artwork which probably looks a little bit sparse but it is what it is at this point I was at the end of my tether with it <laughs> now we move on to the downstairs bathroom which does have a bath instead of a shower very unusual for me to do that 
but I feel like with the shape of the room and the size of it, it was calling for a bath. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a bath in the downstairs bathroom, is there? Like, let's be honest for a second, these Sims can still have a nice bubble bath there. <laughs> this is the master bedroom. Now, I do include the bed from the industrial loft kit. So if you don't have that kit, then you will have to swap the bed out. But it's been such a long time since I used the bed and I just feel like the color schemes and everything, it just worked really, really well with this particular house. So I'm sorry if you don't have that kit. I do apologize. Please feel free to replace it with a bed that's very similar. There's one from Snowy Escape, which I think would work quite well. There's one from Cats and Dogs that would work really well. Um, so like the choice is yours really. Um, but there's not too much going on in this room. I didn't really spend too much time on it. It came together really quickly, um, to be fair, which is quite unusual for me. <laughs> this is the ensuite from the master bedroom and it does include, I believe, a shower and a bath which again, very unusual for me. I don't normally do that, but the, the bathrooms just worked out really, really well in terms of the size and the shape of them. So I just tried to fit as many things as possible in here. One thing I did not include in this house, which I'm kicking myself for now because I always, um, it just slips my mind every single time. Maybe your Sims have a pet, a cat or a dog. I didn't include any pet bowls or pet beds or anything like that. So I do apologize. Um, if you do, if your Sims do have an animal, a cat or a dog, then please feel free to put a food bowl somewhere. May I suggest the kitchen or maybe the little utility room hallway that we created? <laughs> I'll start doing it more. It's really weird because I have two dogs in real life and the amount of times that I actually put a pet bowl in a in a build is slim to none like it's just I, I i just i don't know why it just slips my mind every single time so i do apologize um this is the downstairs office which i mean i've finished it like th that's how quickly that sort of came together so there is a downstairs office <laughs> if you want to turn it into a bedroom then please feel free to do so but in my mind it was an office so this is the upstairs as you can see this is where the three bedrooms and the main bathroom is for the top floor so there you can fit four child sims up here my mind was going towards um three daughters and an older son and i'll talk to you a little bit about that in just a moment when we talk about like the themes for the bedrooms <laughs> they're really fun it's been a little while i feel i say that i think my last speed build like suburban house had some really fun kids rooms um so i'm lying i'm totally lying to you um it was just really nice to sort of create these rooms with sims in mind it was really refreshing for me actually so i apologize if the sims that you move in here don't have the same interests um but i had a lot of fun with this and i was feeling really really inspired so this one is for an older son i would imagine an older teen possibly turning into a young adult who's really into gaming and coding and i feel like he possibly dropped out of university because he's slightly lazy and didn't really know what he wanted to do so now he's moved back in with his parents he's got three younger sisters who he just wants to constantly get away from and this is his oasis this he never comes out of his room there's like pizza boxes everywhere there's empty bottles and stuff like that and so he's a little bit of a slob but he loves gaming and he loves coding as well so that was sort of the backstory for the sim that i envisioned living in this room so i really hope you don't mind um but it's been a while since i've done kids rooms like these so just 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 let me go with it <laughs> so this is possibly my favorite room of the house as i mentioned earlier it's got so much character there's so much going on in here and this the the bedrooms up here are such good sizes that I was just able to add so many things, so many characteristics and just add so much detail and I'm so so pleased with how they came out. I'm, I'm like beaming right now. <laughs> I just, I love these bedrooms so much but this one in particular is my favourite. I would love to see you guys possibly create a family for this house or like show me who you've moved in here, what are they doing? Um, do they sort of align with my storyline? Have you created their own storyline? Please, 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 please. I love it when you guys message me and tell me what you've done with my houses and the rooms and the Sims that you've moved in. I talk about this so much on the channel, but when you guys send me messages and say that you've moved in this family to this house, you've made these changes, you've kept things the same or 
it just warms my heart that's why i do what i do so thank you for that anyway now we've moved on to the twin girls room this is very pink it's very girly so it's a little bit sickly <laughs> but it's been a little while since i've done a bedroom like this so please bear with me let me just let me roll with it okay let me roll with it um i do really really like how this came out not as much as the older son's room that that there's just something about that room that i that i just love i, I <laughs> there's something about it but this room yeah it's it's for two it's for twin girls and they get along really well i feel like they're the children either they've just aged up into children or they're like younger children there's so much stuff for them to do here there's a tv there's a seat there's toys there's there's so much stuff that they can do they can do their homework up here because they have their own computer i believe each child has their own pc so it makes it really really easy for them to do their homework in their own rooms which i think is really important um for gameplay but I, I'm getting a bit sick looking at this room. I love pink. I love pink. I, I, I love pink as a colour, but like when it's all pink, I find it so sickly. <laughs> but I'm saying sickly and I mean it in like the nicest way possible because that's definitely sort of the theme that I was wanting to go for with this particular room. So you'll have to let me know what you think. Is it a little bit much? Do you really like it? Do you like how all the kids have their own interests and like totally separate colour palettes and stuff like that? I feel like in reality all kids are different right even to their siblings so for me when i'm doing houses like this it seems quite realistic to sort of keep each child sim they, like they have their own interests you know that that's so important to me um, a lot of the time <laughs> particularly with this house here but we're just finishing up adding some more bits here and there uh, making sure it all matches making sure it's all pink and just yes <laughs> now this room here is for probably a slightly older child or um, maybe a young teen. She's a bit of a tomboy. She loves blue and purple. She's a little bit of a geek. She's very different to her other two sisters. And she has her own room because her other sisters don't really get her. Um, that's kind of the story that I had for the child that lives in this particular room. I personally love the colour palette in this room. I love the character. It's probably my second favourite room of the house. Um, just because I love the backstory that I sort of created in my head as I was doing this room. Yeah, she's, she's a bit of a... I don't want to say an oddball. She's a bit of a tomboy. She's just very different to her twin sisters who are incredibly girly. And this is her oasis. This is where she escapes to. And... I yeah I love this room it's not a color scheme that I I don't think I've ever tried before so it was really refreshing for me to try something new so I really hope you guys like this one um a lot of purple a lot of blue there's a lot of black going on and it's just I just love it so much <laughs> I don't know what else to say really but we are coming towards the end of the video so I will start wrapping up you can breathe a sigh of relief everybody <laughs> but you can get this house from the gallery right now my origin ID of course is Rachel Ped tray files as always are linked down in the description box below you can get them for free from sim file share but thank you once again everyone for joining me here today you all take care and i will see you next time i post a video bye